Is it a trading conspiracy? One that followed the unprecedented GameStop battle between retail investors and Wall Street short sellers? Silver has been in the trading crosshairs all week, but this time there are many questions about who was really behind the short squeeze. Silver hit an eight-year high a week ago, ahead of any real fundamentals that would have supported it. And the silver buying frenzy started on January 27th, when buyers pushed prices up to more than $30 an ounce before they dipped under $27 on February 2nd. It was a less dramatic and shorter-lived apparent battle with Wall Street than that over GameStop, when retail investors piled into shares in a race to outdo Wall Street short sellers, causing shares in the video game retailer to jump 700%. GameStop stock went from $17.25 for the struggling video retailer at the beginning of January to an unbelievable $347.21 on January 27th, the same day Silver started its unexpected rise, before sliding back to $90 on February 2nd. For the first time in trading history, the GameStop battle saw retail investors use social media to create a mass buying movement for the stock as Wall Street short sellers were betting big against it. For Silver, the jury is still out as to whether this was another move orchestrated by a Reddit group, in this case Reddit's Wall Street Silver channel, or if it was a copycat conspiracy, as some suggested, suspecting that it could have been a trap set by big investors to benefit hedge funds with large positions in Silver. But the Silver squeeze was short-lived. This is a much larger market to try to drive prices in than a single video game retailer, as such, the squeeze was destined to be short whoever is ultimately responsible. Prices started to level out quickly when the Chicago Mercantile Exchange moved on February 2nd to slap higher margin requirements on traders after conducting a normal review of market volatility to ensure adequate collateral coverage. Silver prices began to backtrack almost immediately. But this isn't necessarily the end of the road for a silver rally. There are real fundamentals that could prop it up organically. In December, Saxo Bank projected that silver would soar to $50 this year, driven by loose Fed monetary policy and a weaker dollar. TD Securities commodity strategist Daniel Ghali also believes that fundamentals could support silver prices above $30 an ounce. While the GameStop battle may have inflicted some $13.5 billion in damage to hedge funds with short positions against the stock, the bigger damage to Wall Street is far more onerous than this. This is the dawn of a new trading age. One that says Wall Street isn't running this show alone anymore. There's a new protocol in town, and it's democratic, even if it's amateur.